Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. And today we are heading to Stirling with some store lambs. That's the plan. But already this morning, I had a little bit of an incident reversed into the hedge. Well, I didn't reverse into the hedge. I was reversing round for the trailer and the front caught the hedge here. Have a look at this. Do, 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 do. I've shoved that back up a little bit, but it's fairly loose. I'm not sure it'll make it to Stirling. I mean, it's still fairly robust. I think it'll probably be fine. I'll get a bit of rope. We'll put a bit of rope on it. Let's get the lambs in. We can worry about that later. So this is a pen of some of the stores. We're going to pick up another little handful. This little lamb at the back here was born in July. Got a good shape about it. Real variety in here. There's Sky Heavy and Pup. How are you doing, Sky? She's glowing, but isn't she? Mm -hmm. Looking good. That puppy food's good. How you doing? How are you doing? Loads of space lambs. Okay, so the lambs are in the trailer. Let's head to Stirling Auction Mark, United Auctions, and see how we go with these stores. And I'll explain a bit about what stores are as well when we get there. Susan, there's a YouTube video here. Aye, there's a couple of better tips. Well, Aye, I've seen a couple, couple of videos. There's ample nailer at Now, this is a store lamb sale that's happening today at UAE. The guidance we see things with COVID and the way things are just now, we're masked at the market, social distancing at all times. Because it is a store sale, I'm going to see the lamb sold just to make sure the trade's okay and I'm happy with the price. If it was a prime sale, it would be a drop and go policy that they're adapting now. So I just drop my lambs off and leave them with the market. We won't get to see them sold. But a store sale like this just now, it's quite important that I see the lamb sold. The difference between store lambs and like prime lambs that we would sell through the ring. A store lamb is a lamb that's not quite finished yet. So these will go on to other farmers who have a, either better grass, forage crops, indoor rearing facilities with creek feeders. They'll go into farmers like that that are better set up to finish these lambs. And when told, there's boys looking for them. So we'll see how they go. These lambs have been split into two pens just now. This is just the first rough shed. It's a bit of a mixed bag here, that's why I've got them at the store sale. They're either lambs that are going to be a long time coming ready, or they're at a bit of ground where I'm running out of grass and it's a good time to shift them on. So there is some good big lambs, there's some wee small black faced lambs there as well that aren't so fancy. But they'll be split up again before they go in the sale ring into more appropriate lots. I'll leave that to the guys to do, they know the auctioneers here know better than me how they should be done. I'll leave it to them and we'll see how they go through this sale ring. I'll just go and shift the pick up and trailer and head to the ring. Right, lambs, they are there. Get for the Texel lambs. You get for all gas. And anyone who sits for them at £100, 90, 85, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So, via a little detour, I've just arrived back home and I realised I hadn't concluded the video from the market today. So let's just do a little rundown of what happened there. You saw the lamb's been sold, hopefully, through my mobile phone footage. And we averaged out at £86.80 for those 58 lambs. And that was with a bottom draw, those small black face lambs, or those two small cross lambs, what were they again? Two small mules were £49 and a wee pen of six black face lambs were £54. Top was 109 for that cracking Beltex, but that was a bit of an exceptional lamb. I'm not sure even how I produced a lamb like that. Other good prices were some mules at £97 and some Texel cross lambs at £93. Worth noting, the mules that I sold at £97 are actually ones that I bought store. So there's 14 I sold there. They were actually ones that I bought store a few videos ago when I was selling my gimmers at air. So I bought them store and I believe they cost me, the pen average 84, they were some of the cheaper ones. So they would be around about, I think they were 78 pounds actually. But let's say they were 80 pounds. 80 pounds home, they got a Zolvix and they got a Fluke Dose. So let's add another two pound 50 on for that is 82.50. Let's add a pound for me driving them to the market today is 83.50 plus grass at 60 pence a week. And that was around about end of August. So let's say that's 10 weeks. Let's say that's, no, it's more than that. Let's say it's 11 weeks at 60 pence is £6.60. So £6.60 on to 82.50, I think I was at. No, it was 250. 83.50, £6.60, round up to an even £90. So really, yeah, that's us being harsh. It's a bit cheaper than that, to be fair. And the, the grass is a bit cheaper than that as well. But if we just realistically, plus your time for doing the jobs, we're only really making £7 a head there. So for those 14 lambs, I made £7 a head is 100 and it's not even, it's not even 
£98. It's £98. So we made £98 profit, rough estimates, on those 14 mil lambs. It's not that great really, but if you're buying store lambs, you should be set up to finishing them. And those lambs would sell for easy £115 to £120 when they're fleshed out at 45 kilos. So then your margin, of course, would be a lot bigger. But I just don't have the grass now to finish them, really. So I'm happy enough. We, we came out of them ahead, slightly. So that's, that's a good enough win for me. Anyway, there's some more lambs away. With more to go to market tomorrow for the prime sale probably won't be vlogging that and that is the end of this one sheep fans hope you've enjoyed it another trip to the market hope you've clicked that subscribe button thanks for all the support this year it's been fantastic and we'll see you for the next one ah <sighs>